lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into your reading, my lovelies. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. Now, your first card here is the Chariot card. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor card, powerful cards, Eight of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Okay. You are confident, Sagittarius. You are feeling really being empowered. Um, I see like what they're showing me is almost like looking yourself in the mirror and really acknowledging like everything you have overcame. It's almost like I don't want to say feeling unstoppable, but you're definitely going to be experiencing this transition from now all the way to August where things start to fall into place and you start to believe or trust more in your intuition, more in being confident and knowing what it is that you want and not holding back, really going towards the things that you're really wanting to make happen. Now, the partner or person of your interest is the four of pentacles. You may be dealing with an earth energy, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You may also be dealing with another fire energy as yourself in Aries or Leo. Um, I also do see cancer here as well. But what they're showing me here is the person that the person that you're dealing with may be a little bit cold, a little bit distant, a little bit distracted is what I'm hearing. But for some of you guys with the four of pentacles, this is speaking to me about going towards uh, someone that could be emotionally no longer available. Um, so it's almost like because I see the two of swords here, it can indicate to me um, a transition and it's a transition of <clears throat> an opportunity that could have opened up for you, but perhaps you were too much in your head or you kind of held back for whatever reason. And now that you're trying to proactively pursue this connection, um, I feel that they've emotionally checked out or they got tired of waiting. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because I'm seeing options on all levels. So with the chariot card, we have two horses here, which is indicating to me um, two different energies, the white and the black. Um, this is you knowing your power and knowing what you want, deciding and going towards it. Um, but with the four of pentacles here, you can see in the background, there is like two, two openings here, uh, which is indicating to me options or a decision between two people or dealing with something where you felt like you had to wait for the perfect timing or for things to fall into place now that you are ready or now that you feel empowered or now that you feel confident you're going towards it but you may experience a bit of resistance on the person's side um so again it could be that they felt like there was some type of waiting game is what i'm hearing for some of you guys, it could be that the person waited for quite a while and didn't see no action. So they've, you know, tried to move on or are currently moving on or are currently entertaining another suitor. Um, however, with the Emperor card here, I feel that the connection between you two is too strong to ignore because the Emperor is all about, you know, being empowered. It's all about power in itself. And it also indicates, you know, having the need to have certain, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like the need to have, um, knowing exactly like with clarity what it is that you want in your life or when we're talking about relationships. Uh, the emperor card also indicates to me a person that is very methodical a person that doesn't necessarily give in to their impulses. This is a person that overanalyzes or overthinks, and this is what makes them wise. This is what makes them very mature. So they see the situation as they themselves have the opportunity because the emperor is holding the world here. Um, they have the opportunity to take your offer, but they may you know, kind of make you wait a little bit only because there is a feeling of, well, you could have wasted their time at some point or they felt like you could have wasted their time. So it's like, you know, the, the grander type of energy of, okay, now you want to come back. Well, now you have to prove to me that you want it. 
Now you have to prove to me that you're serious. Remember, you guys, the emperor is all about seriousness. It's all about putting in the work. Um, it's all about structure. So this person may expect some type of commitment. However, I feel that that's not scaring you, Sagittarius, because you have the eight of wands here. The eight of wands is like you fully following your passions, fully following your heart and taking action and going quick towards it with the chariot, two very moving, fast, fast paced moving cards. So again, I feel that the, the, the feeling of they may reject me or the feeling of, you know, they, they waited a while for me, whatever the situation was, I feel that it may intimidate you. However, I still see you actively pursuing them. I see you going out of your way to actually prove to them. Now, if you, on the other hand, were the one that they kind of didn't really put effort and energy, I feel that you're being empowered, you're being confident, you know your worth, and you're not going to make it that easy. So it, it, it is a general reading. It could go vice versa. It could be you the one that is like, okay, I'm holding the power. I know that what I bring to the table. And if they want my attention, they're going to have to go above and beyond to show me that they're not wasting my time anymore. Nonetheless, the connection here is like you can't ignore it. So if you are dealing with this situation and you did, in fact, uh, kind of had to choose between two people or were dealing with two people or you felt like you could make a decision at some point and you feel like this person emotionally checked out. If you feel that this is a person that is worth you putting effort and energy, go towards it, Sagittarius, because they're telling you now is the time. Stop wasting time with the two of swords. Stop being indecisive. You have to make the decision and go and fully commit to the outcome um, because you will have success. You have the chariot, the emperor and the eight of wands. So again, it's about letting go of your fears and actively going towards what you want. Beautiful reading. I wish you guys the very best. Bye.